So now let's talk about the Frobenius norm and how to calculate that in Python programming language using the NumPy package. So take this example. As you can see, here is a matrix which is called X, and we want to calculate the Frobenius norm. In order to calculate the Frobenius norm, here is the formula, and it is the square root of the summation of each element in the matrix to the power of 2. For example, in this example, it is equal to the square root of 1 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2 all the way up to plus 9 to the power of 2, which if you calculate all this stuff, it is equal to, it is approximately equal to 16.88. So now let's calculate this in Python. As you can see, we have imported NumPy as in P, and also here we have defined our matrix. This is the first row, the second row, the third row. So we want to calculate the Frobenius norm for this matrix. In order to do so, I simply type np.linear algebra, and remember that NumPy has different sections for different stuff, and one of those sections is the linear algebra section, which is used for dealing with linear algebra stuff. And I want to use the norm function, and I want to calculate the norm of x, and the order which I want to pass is fro, I mean for Frobenius norm. That's it, and I want to store the results in a variable, let's say called results, and if I print the results variable, and if I run a code, you can see here is the result, which is the Frobenius norm of matrix X. And also remember that if you don't pass anything for the ORD argument, the default argument for ORD for the matrix is Frobenius norm. So once again, if I run the code, you can see we get the same output because the default argument for calculating the norm of a matrix is the Frobenius norm. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.